Any customer with a signed contract will show up here on the jobs page. Uh, these numbers here are the number of proposals that you have for a specific customer. So this green one is accepted, number of accepted proposals, uh, total number, and then number of declined proposals for that specific customer. So here's the job schedule where, where you can schedule your jobs and assign workers to them. So we're going to go ahead and make an entry here. And we're going to be scheduling the Bobby Sanders job. And we'll assign the A team to this job. We'll click Save. We'll go ahead and add another job right here the Bill Smith job. And we'll assign the B team to that. That's a $3,500 job. Okay, now we've gone ahead and we've already made some entries into the uh, time card section here. Um, and what this is is the 50 that you see here is the number of budgeted hours for the job. And we can see that our crew, our A team, has only used nine of those 50 budgeted hours so far. Or that's the, the amount of time that they've reported in the system. Our B team, however, uh, they are uh, they're over budget by uh, quite a bit already. Um, they've reported a total of 96 hours out of 82 budgeted. That's everything related to our jobs calendar. Uh, for a full list of features, visit Quark CRM's features page. Thanks for watching.